All right, guys, Thomas here, getting ready to do another dungeon here today on World of Warcraft. Never really cared too much for this one right here, so let's get some stuff closed out here before I look this video. <laughs> I have my voice uh, the talk software enabled. Well, voice the text software anyway. It's called Dragon Actually speaking. It was popping crap open on my screen because I got to close before we got started here. But um, this here is one of the newer dungeons for Legion, and um, I actually didn't really like this one. This came out with Argus, and I thought it was relatively kind of lame, so I'm just glad I ain't had to do no keystones or anything here, here recently. But um, you, you basically start off, you clear a little bit out of this area here, and then you got to kill this guy. The, so the first boss is basically right as you spawn. And then we're going to have to go ahead and advance into the next area and uh, move our way around some of this trash. So, got to get out of this garbage here. Go ahead and kill it. And there's the first one down. So now we're just going to go ahead and advance. And uh, we got to go ahead and get up here through this doorway right here. So. And you should be able to just go through here no problem if there's no trash or anything in the way. So, go ahead and get through here. Run up here. And then there's going to be... Uh, Hmm. Actually, I never really even looked around here. It's kind of a neat area. But we'll come here and uh, we're going to get an um, AI come in here and they're going to just basically blow open a wall, which I never really understood the logic the of this God place. So. <clears throat> even when I did the quest line for this basically dungeon, this it didn't make no sense to me. Would benefit us all. Mm. Also, their commander so, here has a particular item that would be but, useful to me. Yeah, these guys are mounting up. Probably not a bad idea. Actually, we'll go ahead and do our uh, mount because I don't think I repair. So it's always good to repair before a dungeon, but um, here we can mount, so it's not a big issue. And I'll just go ahead and do that while we're wasting time. They really need to put a tool or something in place for the artifact power. We need, don't we? We need to talk or something. It is a good day. Yeah, you got to talk to him. It's like, are we ready? No one's talking to him, so it's like, yeah. Yeah, this is definitely why I ain't used to running, so, uh, but what we got to look at here is we got to look at the uh, yellow dots on the map and uh, close these portals. So, I hope you have some kind of quest or something over there I need to do. Uh, not, not too, really too worried about it, actually. We will not be pushed out. Bring in more forces from the void to deal oh, that's where we gotta go. We gotta go up here. <clears throat> now this is really a hard place to kind of maneuver around because there's just so much trash and everything. But I don't really understand why uh, nobody followed me. It's like, I'm gonna come up here and do this all by myself while everyone else is back there doing their own little thing. So. Didn't really make a lot of sense to me. Why no one actually just tried to help, come up here and help. But. Now, see, now they're all following me since I'm already up here because it's like nobody's going to follow the tank. See, I'm the tank. You know, everyone's supposed to follow the tank, but nobody followed me. So it's like I'm up here doing all this stuff by myself. So it's like, oh, okay. So, it, it really tells you that there's some noobs. Look at the map. I'm not really seeing this stuff come up here on the map, wherever it's at. Uh, let's see. I just pulled that. Yeah, this is the bad thing about doing these style of maps. I think it's over here is where we got to go. So, yeah, it's over there. My map's not really functioning because everything on World of Warcraft has a good tendency to bug out. But we'll go ahead and get this. Very, very difficult area because there's just so much trash to actually uh, keystone on. Because you, you gotta run around and really waste your time. It's just on. You really have to kill all this crap. Because the killer's taking on some damage. Not really sure where the killer's at. I think the killer's a pally. Yeah, that might be the healer beside me, actually. Yeah, that's the killer. So, go ahead and clear this out. We'll go ahead and get through here real quick, and hopefully we can get to the next area. That guy's gonna run me. 
down. Let's do it. I'm healing. Another explorer right here. You can see where it's open. I don't know why everybody wants to pull all the garbage. Actually, no, that might not be the portal. I think the boss is already spawned. Normally, it gives you like a little uh, line or something that does when it does spawn the boss. So it didn't do that for me, unless I just didn't notice it just a second ago. So. Yeah, I doubt my volume cracked down just a little bit, but kill all that trash you may not have heard him spawning. So. Now we're going to go ahead and mount back up, and we're going to advance. We'll just go this way here, because that trash is moving that away, so we should be able to get right through this big yes, wide opening. This will do nicely. You'll find their viceroy near the entrance to the temple, feebly trying to break in. Yeah, having a water walking mount can make life a lot easier. So now you want to just crack here. This little bit of trash here. Smaller poles is highly recommended, but you will die. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to pull big up through here. So, And all this room here, you need to clear this whole room or the boss here in the middle will pull it. But we're going to go ahead and pull it because I really don't care. Why is it nobody wants to keep up here? So yay, no one wants to stick up with the tank. Crap. Ah, he didn't make it. Yeah, see everyone, no one's ready because everyone's like way, way behind. So easy to just come over here, kill the boss real fast, burn them down, but no one's so focused on everything else. It doesn't really help the situation, but everyone wants to focus on the ads and the other garbage. I'll drop my banner down here, that'll actually help reduce some damage for him. Try to save the healer here a bit, give him a little damage debuff. And nope, healer wants to die too, I guess. I don't know why people just can't get in here and do it. I mean, these guys are geared for these type of big pulls, but they just don't really, I don't think, are up for the attacks. I always get a few more cooldowns burn this stuff on out of here. Uh, this is, I just want to get this done so we can get on to the next dungeon. Trying to actually clear all the guns up. I'm going to die here in just a second. Yeah, I just died. <sighs> yeah, see, the guy, that one guy, he's not even freaking paying attention. Look, he just logged a free guy DC. It's like, seriously, I mean, how could you freaking DC on something as easy as this? I mean, these are easy pulls. These are really big pulls. But look at my health. I'm at almost 10 million health right now, okay? This is a heroic dungeon. I should be able to just mow this down. And we just basically did that. I mean, I just pretty much proved to you guys, yeah, I can take the heat. These guys are easily geared to take that kind of damage. They're at my gear level. The healers should be able to keep up. Uh, these guys, they just want to be goofing around, wasting way too much freaking time. Um, you know, I shouldn't have to come over here and clear all this stuff, okay? Keystones, anything like that, yeah, you need to do it. But this is what aggravates me so much with World of Warcraft is because this is casual, okay? These are casual guys that's in this group with me. They suck. All of them suck. They don't want to try to do this stuff right. There's no reason we should be wasting time refighting this boss because these guys should already be here. One guy's already quit. He's not even here. It's because people don't want to come in here and they don't want to do this stuff. See that guy there? He just ran there. See how he, all that trash just came over that wall there? None of that trash should be following us. Period. There's no reason for any of that trash to be coming here because that trash is not aggro. He pulled all of that trash from that boss rib here. There's no reason this trash should be here at all. None of it. They didn't know what they were doing. They pulled it. Now it's all here. So now we're fighting way more trash than we should. And that's right. I don't think that's what killed us last time, but you know, you get these inexperienced noobs that come through here. They don't know. 
where to walk and it's just people who don't want to take the time to like, oh, I'm going to walk off the side a little bit. I'm going to try to walk around there. It's going to gun right through it and pull everything. To me, it just shows this the aggravation. Um, yeah, I've actually had fun doing a lot of these videos, but this one right here, this is a, yeah, this is definitely like you got a lot of people here not knowing what they're doing. And you can just kind of see it. The healer is definitely good with what he's doing because he's able to keep up. So, you know, you know, kudos to the hero. Liar. But uh, that's actually a world quest over here, I think. Let me grab that real quick. Hmm. Let me get this guy real fast. I don't know if I think this might be a world quest, but uh, I don't know. We'll go ahead and kill them all up here. Yeah, see, so now they want to kick that guy because he's offline. Well, yeah, you know, I mean, it's kind of why we all died a minute ago because the guy basically went offline right after that. Like, Seriously? You know? Now, people going offline in boss fights is the number one reason to get killed on a boss fight because you don't, you're going in with not the right amount of people. And uh, it really just it ruins you. It really does. It never fails. Uh, we can definitely do this here with uh, you know four man run. Uh, we got two DPS there and a healer. Uh, we could still do this even if we didn't have a healer. I would just have to pull a little bit lighter. But um, yeah, very frustrating that we just wiped the man together. And that's going to affect the death. That's going to ultimately affect my upload time for this YouTube video. So that's frustrating here. Now, as far as this fight goes. Um, Basically, portals open up on the side. You got to kill the crap that comes out of it, and then you, the boss will get a shield, and then you have to go back to killing trash. And then when the shield drops, you can kill the boss. So uh, simple mechanics. It's just paying attention. You know. So we'll just have to wait here a few minutes for this boss, and uh, then we can get back to work, I guess. The few cases I know of have occurred when mortals were involved. What fascinating implications. You gotta listen to these lame, really ignorant storylines because Blizzard wants to put them in the game. That's one of the reasons I don't like this dungeon because they have these really long, long storylines. We'll try to burn this down. There's the shield. As you can see, we popped it. Now we hit this trash back here. See the noob up there? He's up there trying to kill the boss under the shield and he can't do it. You know, because you have to kill this trash first. The shield has to go down before you can go up and fight the boss. So there should be another something here come up in just a second. There's the shield and the shield's down. I will come up here and cause damage to it. And we're just going to burn this thing down real fast. Alright. Okay, so that's down there. You survived. All right, and that is the end of this run. Um, kind of a sucky run that the one guy quit. The healer was able to keep up. No complaints on the healer, but the one deep, the DPS just didn't know what the hell they were doing. They were really lacking, way behind me. I mean, I was where I needed to be. They were behind me. They couldn't keep up. Very frustrating when people just don't know what the hell they're doing. But uh, you know, this is a heroic dungeon. Um, these guys are well geared, so you know they've been in probably mythic dungeons, and they should know this run. They don't know it, and that just that frustrates me. It really frustrates me. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Peace out, YouTube. Let's not get ahead.